Joseph Hall from Branson, Missouri. I first became an Elvis fan because my father was an Elvis fan and we moved a lot as children and uh, so in the U-Haul there was always Elvis Presley to sit to. Halloween of 2006, I decided to go to a Halloween costume party as Elvis, and uh, I went on stage and did a few songs, and I had so much fun doing it, and uh, that I thought that that was it one night, and then I went back to work at the restaurant, and people were like, Were you, weren't you Elvis? Weren't you doing that Elvis gig on stage? And I said, Yes, and and they said, Well, do you do birthday parties, corporate parties? And so just one thing led to another. Seven months into it, I quit my job at the restaurant, and I've been doing Elvis full time ever since. Oh, just because I asked a friend about her, just because I spoke her name somewhere, just because. I remember by mistake today. Lord, you know she thinks I, I still care. Oh, just because I haunt the same old places, Memphis, Tennessee. I listen to a lot of rock music, uh, so I sort of, I'll watch that and it just kind of hypes me up. And I'll listen to Elvis and just hypes me up and uh, you know, you gotta just go out there and, and do your best and have a lot of fun, man. Cause it's about the energy. 
It's about the chemistry that you have with the crowd, and that's what it's all about. It's one for money, two for show, three get ready now, go cat go, don't you? Stick my blues with you. You can do the thing, but on for my blues with you. If you knock me down, I stick my face, I stick my face, I'm all over the place. I don't know the thing you want to do, but on my honey, pay off for my shoes, and don't you? Dwight Eisenhower inspired me. Brian Pelton inspired me. Robert Washington inspired me. Trent Carlini inspired me. All those guys are great. And uh, all those guys I, I, I follow and I watch and I learn. And because, you know, the, the unique thing is, is that all ETAs have a uniqueness about them and all ETAs deliver Elvis a little different and it's like I watch them and I'll learn from them and I'll see what they do and I just kind of just incorporate that and make it my own and that's what inspiration is all about. You know, personally, you call me Elvis impersonator, you call me Elvis tribute artist, Elvis guy, Elvis wannabe. The truth of the matter is, is I'm up there paying tribute to Elvis, whether I'm an impersonator, tribute artist, or whoever. That's what I'm doing. So call it whatever you want. It's 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 the same thing. I see a change that's coming to our lives. It's not the same as it used to be. And it's not too late to realize my mistakes. We're just not right for each other. Love has slipped away, left us only friends. We all seem like strangers. All that's lived between us are the memories we share, and times we thought we cared for each other. There's nothing left to do but go our separate ways. And pick up all the pieces left behind us And maybe someday, somewhere along the way Another love will find us It was like, uh, spiritual, yet haunting Because when you walked through the house, you felt the presence It's not like you walk through an empty house. You, when you walk through Graceland, you felt home. You felt the warmth. You know, you felt love. The wise man say, all their fools rubbish But I can tell all they can love. With you, shall I stay? Would it be a sin if I can tell all things in love with you? Like a river flows 
Surely to the sea, darling, so it goes. And some things are meant to be. When I'm on stage, what I want the audience to take from the show, I want them to have a great time. I want them to walk away. I want the audience to come to the show and for those two hours that they're there to forget about anything that's going on in their personal lives. And I want them to have a great time. I like the rawness of the 50s, I like the pop of the 60s, but I feel like when Elvis came into the 70s, that is when he took the throne and became king of rock and roll. I feel that's when he came full circle. You know, and you know, Elvis is the original gangster, I mean, he's the, he's the OG for sure, you know. I mean, anybody that can show up at the White House in a black velvet suit with a cane and sunglasses, unannounced and gets to meet the president and a narcotics badge as gangster. Well, I was the one who tried to give the way that she kisses you now. His charisma is still lingering 38 years later. And that's what people are drawn to. They're drawn to his energy, his charisma, the humble person that he was. That is what it is. That is what people are drawn to Elvis Presley. That's what drew me to him.